and I, I'm going to try to like, I don't know, like clean up part of my house. I'm going to try to do this and, and I'm not going to hire a cleaner. As I said, I was raised Roman Catholic. I view this as a penance. And I, I think I need to do this for myself. I need to take accountability for bad things that I've done and for letting my life get this out of control. And I don't need a get out of jail free card. So I need to do that for myself and for my own closure as well. When it comes to complicated political issues like the Israeli-Palestine conflict, streamers and influencers like to steer pretty far away from getting involved in something like that, at the risk of saying something offensive or stupid and pissing everybody off. And for the most part, this is actually the correct way to handle things. Like, I remember, like, when KSI was getting so much shit last year for refusing to answer what he thought about the Palestine-Israel conflict, and for some reason, everybody thought that this was a bad response by him. What do you think about the Palestine-Israel situation at the moment? I, <laughs> I honestly have no idea what's going on. <laughs> That's, that is, that is it. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not getting involved. It's way above me. Get out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't know. Well, come on, man. We got us. Less, less controversial questions, please. Like, people are sitting there saying, like, I'm fucking speechless. How could he respond like this? Meanwhile, I'm sitting there thinking, like, why is this a bad response? I mean, he's not a political commentator. He's KSI. He's a fucking dumbass. And trust me, I know that everybody hates KSI right now. I've hated KSI for years, and I'm probably gonna do a video talking about the recent stuff that he's been in. But when it comes to this clip right here, he said absolutely nothing wrong. Then you have Asmongold, who a couple days ago decided he actually would give his take on the conflict, and he, uh, boy did he give a take, all right. I don't give a fuck, they're terrible people. Let's hear it. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. How much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. So this take is really funny because Asmongold is like one of Twitch's biggest streamers. And generally he's a pretty safe, you know, middle of the road, fence city kind of guy. You know, most Twitch streamers at his level are. I mean, they try to steer as far away from trouble as possible and just kind of keep it, you know, pretty simple. You know, they've got sponsorships, they got ad deals, they've got all kinds of stuff going on that they don't want to disrupt by going on stream and just saying crazy shit. But Asmongold just woke up one day and he was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to say what's on my mind. They're horrible, they're shit, they're terrible people. I don't give a fuck if they're being killed and dying. Who cares? Which is a take on its own that I don't really have an issue with. I mean, to be honest, I don't really have an issue with anyone's opinions, no matter how wild or crazy they are. It doesn't really affect me at all, especially political situations like this. Like, none of that Asmongold clip that I just watched really, like, shocks me or, like, freaks me out or anything like that. I mean, it, that that's his opinion. Go for it, right? But, I mean, objectively, this is a pretty stupid take to give on stream because you're just opening the doors to people bringing up stuff like, well, you don't care about innocent people? Like, sure, you have an issue with, you know, the Palestinian government or you have an issue with Palestinian-backed, like, terror groups and stuff like that. But what about the innocent people dying? Like, you can't just really throw them under the bus. Like, how do you know they even support what their leaders are supposedly doing, right? And I don't want to get too political on this channel because I really just don't give a fuck. I don't care. But it's pretty easy to see, like, why Asmongold's take is so ripe for criticism from people that just hate him. And trust me, Asmongold is a pretty hated guy on Twitter. He is constantly getting shit on for his takes, especially his takes 
in like AI art and also his disgusting fucking room that Twitter just loves to remind everyone of which to be fair I mean this is just pretty pretty fucking bad dude like how do you even how do you even like live surrounding yourself with this but yeah if you look at the quote tweets on this tweet like people are kind of I mean you have some people like praising him you know you have some conservatives or like the quartering type people who are like yeah based W Asmongold let's go yeah like right here like based Asmongold is going to get mobbed for this one though which is true but then you have people like this guy who's a friend of Hassan's who's saying stuff like hey Asmongold what about my culture makes it okay to genocide my friends and family gay Arabs in Lebanon and Palestine telling you to keep their names out their fucking mouth you live in Texas multiple murders and hate crimes have occurred against the trans community clean up your own shit before you make suggestions on places you know nothing about which is a take like I don't even know what we're even talking about here you have Fousey Tube saying fuck this inbred retard and anyone who stands with them you support genocide no way around that argument in my opinion the take is so bad he should be punished but he won't because he's a part of protected fairies of the internet free Palestine tells backwards bitch and Asmongold tried to calm down all the hate that he was getting by saying you know looking back on it I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing my bad of course no one deserves to have their life destroyed even if they do things or have views I find regressive you guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that I'll do better but obviously this take just makes the whole situation worse because you have people that hate Asmongold who see this as like a weak sort of oops my bad type statement and then the people that supported what he said are now mad because Asmongold looks weak it looks like he's cucking out it looks like he's trying to bow down and apologize to the mob and the whole situation is really weird too because Asmongold is like in the past like when this conflict first began he said it's weird as fuck to see so many people coming out with statements about the Israel-Palestine conflict as if they need to comment on it can we please stop this weird culture around expecting people with no relevant background or education to talk about world events and politics like it's weird that he says this a year ago but then he gets into the same trouble he was warning streamers of falling into like a year ago obviously twitch is pretty quick to ban his channel although they only gave him a 14 day ban i actually thought they were going to ban him permanently because his statement was pretty nuclear it was pretty like out there so i kind of expected twitch to just pull the plug on that shit but surprisingly they only gave him 14 days off however it's a little bit hard to predict the punishments that twitch will give to their creators because you know plenty of streamers have gotten away with like insane crazy shit like for instance when hassan interviewed a yemeni tiktok pirate who's actually like a just a full-on terrorist hassan brought this guy on stream because he's the base you know hot tiktok pirate and he loves one piece the anime okay this is a stupid question okay you can preface it with that does he want does he know what one piece is one piece like is that an organization no one piece is an anime Oh okay. Um uh I شيء بقول لك انه ممكن هذا السؤال اكيد يعني مثل الطفوله وانا شاهد ون بيس لوفي لوفي؟ Yeah, he said he's he's been watching it since he was a kid. <laughs> the whole way. Yeah. That's sick. Yes. Yes. That's fire. That's uh, that's so fire. Oh my god. Dude, we we think um, we think uh, the Houthis on Allah is doing uh, what Luffy would do. You should tell him that. Uh, uh, dude, this like guy's Hassan fucking and, uh, 30, dude. And by the way, these are like the tweets from the same person that Hassan had on stream, the Yemeni pirate, the execution that we will carry out on all Zionists. He even invited Hassan to go blow up some Israeli ships with him. I do not know who designed the picture, but if Hassan wants to join us in the operations of Israeli ships, we welcome you. Which is fucking just uh, such a funny, like crazy tweet. Like, by the way, I fully support this move from Hassan. If Hassan wants to pack up his bags, quit his fucking streaming career, stop doing his dog shit fucking streams, and actually just dedicate his full life to Middle Eastern terrorism. You know, that's a W career change to me. Like, I fully support that. I think that would be hilarious. But again, I'm just showing this just to show how inconsistent Twitch is. Like, the crazy shit that they'll allow from one end of the spectrum, especially about this conflict, but not the other end, it's kind of fucking weird. Like, Twitch, by not banning Hassan, but banning Asmongold, is effectively taking a stance on the Israel-Palestine war, which is kind of weird. Earlier today, Destiny's community created this website called DanClancySucks.com. Dan Clancy is one of the CEOs at Twitch and they have a whole list of like clips of mostly Hassan but also some other streamers like Frogan and this guy who is like screaming about killing pe white people basically. They have a compilation of all these crazy clips and some of them are like kind of wild like the first one where Hassan literally uses an ethnic slur against Jewish people on his stream and somehow just never caught a ban for this. Like all these clips just go to show like how inconsistent Twitch is. Obviously I have no issue like I said before with anyone being as extreme as they want like it just really 
really doesn't matter to me. I'm a pretty big free speech guy, and I mean, if Twitch wants to open the door to like radical views like this, like sure, I'm all for it, but you have to extend the doors like always, you know? You can't just like pick one side or the other. But going back to Asmongold, he is getting absolutely fucked. He said he's gonna be stepping away from his leadership position at OTK and Starforge. OTK is a content network and Starforge, they make PCs. So him losing his position at both of these like companies is actually like pretty big. And again, like the double standard is like crazy because what Asmongold has to step away from OTK because he gave a take that was maybe a little bit too spicy on stream. But then you have Mizkiff who literally covered up a sexual assault and nothing bad ever happened to him. He wasn't banned from Twitch and he didn't have to leave OTK. Like the levels of like punishment that are given to the crime just don't match at all. Anyway, Asmongold put up his own response to the allegations today and he said a few things. Mainly, he clarified his point by saying that his original point on stream was that he was criticizing religious extremism and he didn't mean to go after like a bunch of innocent people. I'll play the clip. I've always been very outspoken and very against religious extremism and I still am. I think that any religion and any way of thinking that's going to cause you to put other people in like kind of positions below you as like, you know, like uh, gay people, women, uh, people with disabilities, anything like that. Uh, I think that that's a really bad position to have and I really don't like that. And I think that my problem and my fault here was that I was making a criticism of religious extremism and it's like I've almost made an effort not to draw a distinction between the two things. I think that a lot of us here can easily say that we're against religious extremism and I am. But whenever I categorize everybody in the area as this, like, group, uh, then I'm the asshole. And I was the asshole. And I mean, I guess that's a fair response, but if your whole point originally was about religious extremism, it's kind of not what you said in the clip at all. But I guess he's just saying that, well, I worded it wrong because I'm fucking stupid or whatever. He also said one of the reasons that, you know, he changed his mind and he realized how fucked up what he said was, was because a bunch of Palestinians reached out to him and he felt just like a fucking asshole, basically. So I, I'm getting all these people making negative comments toward me. Everybody is telling me like, oh, go kill yourself. I hate you. Everything like this. Do you know who reached out to me? And uh, they uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay. It's people that were Islamic and people that were had fucking family in Palestine. And I've, how humiliating is that? How absolutely humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were, were bad. And I, I just, I, I feel like such a fucking stupid asshole. I really do. And then finally, he said as punishment for his 14-day uh, ban, he's going to actually do the unthinkable and clean his disgusting fucking room. And he's not going to hire a cleaner. He's going to do it himself. And I, I'm going to try to, like, I don't know, like, clean up part of my house. I'm going to try to do this. And, and I'm not going to hire a cleaner. As I said, I was raised Roman Catholic. <laughs> I view this as a penance. And I... I think I need to do this for myself. I need to take accountability for bad things that I've done and for letting my life get this out of control. And I don't need a get out of jail free card. So I need to do that for myself and for my own closure as well. Like this guy is a grown ass man who just got grounded for 14 days and was told to clean up his room. Like he's like a child. It's so fucking weird. And then finally in his uh, apology, he said he's gonna go to the Middle East and see it for himself. I'm not really sure what that's gonna really do. Like he's just gonna go to a couple nice cities like Dubai. Like he's gonna see how peaceful and epic the Middle East is and suddenly that's gonna change his mind or something. I don't really know what that last point was all about, but sure, if he wants to take a vacation to Istanbul and see the sights and that's suddenly gonna de-radicalize his brain or something, Go knock yourself out. Seems a little goofy to me, but I guess I can see where he's going with that. And overall, Twitter's response to his apology has been pretty mixed, honestly. I've been seeing, like, a lot of, like, people just shitting on it, basically. Like, this guy's saying, I just watched Asmongold's apology video, and it's a shame because it's genuinely good apology, which is rare on YouTube. But he's cultivated such a shithead incel audience over the years that all the comments are just making fun of him for doing the right thing. Oh, well. It seems like a lot of people are kind of just focusing on the comments instead of the actual apology, which is pretty shitty.
shitty. Like, yeah, no shit. His audience is fucking stupid. Everybody's audience is fucking stupid. Like, it's almost like a lot of people that want to hate Asmongold have to admit that his apology was pretty decent in the grand scheme of things, especially when you compare other YouTuber streamer apologies. So they can't shit on the apology, so they just go to the comments and just, you know, shit on the comments as if Asmongold's responsible for that. Like, oh, well, your apology was all right, but your comments are really bad. You've cultivated such a shithead audience. It's like, come on, dude. That's just like a cop out. Just why even bring that point up at all? So yeah, overall, even though I have some criticisms about his apology, you know, some stuff he said didn't sound quite right. I do think it was a pretty honest apology, and I think it was a pretty decent one. I mean, it, it struck a good balance between coming off as like very genuine, but not being too pandery. And again, I don't care about his radical views, right? If he has radical views, I'm like the last person to be offended by that. It really doesn't bother me or upset me at all. Like, obviously not. But I think if you are somebody that is bothered by his views, and then you watch this apology, and you still just like violently hate him, I think that's pretty dumb. He opened his mouth. He says something he regrets. I mean, that's just part of being human. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I'm in the thick of it. Everybody knows. They know me where it snows. I skate in and they froze.